Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be trying out some AAA games on my Steam Deck running on SteamOS version 3.5 preview build. I've installed all of these games on an SD card Samsung EVO Plus A2 rated speed. I'll be playing through some of the most demanding sequences of these games where Steam Deck has struggled in the past. I've already tested these games. Some games did show signs of performance improvements, whereas some other games didn't show anything. Performance was exactly the same as SteamOS version 3.4.10. First, I'll be running Last of Us Remake. Connected my DualSense controller to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Show you the game info section. Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using G Proton version 8-14 as the compatibility layer. We're in the menu, performance tab. Only level set to 3, frame rate limit set to 30, refresh rate set to 60, that's it. PC version of this game is very demanding. You already know this. So I'll be running the game using the low preset graphics low preset a lot of settings are available almost every effect has been disabled it's basically the potato mode This game supports FSR2 and yes you need to set it to either balance or performance in order to get a stable performance on Steam Deck. 800p resolution, FSR2 set to performance, there you go. Load the game. Yeah, there's Joel. This game supports two access controller out of the box. Infected. Okay, so here we are getting 30 FPS, very high GPU load, 90%. Take out this creature. Stealth kill. The adaptive triggers feature work even when the gamepad is connected to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. More of these creatures. Grab one of them. Very good. This creature grabbed me. Shoot it. Thirty FPS. Right. Let's area. I'll keep the gameplay short. Let's head back into the city. This is the way out. This sequence is very demanding on the GPU. We may hit the GPU bottleneck here. Few FPS drops. Ninety five percent GPU load. Fresh air. FPS is still around thirty. That's the one thing I love about the outside. Foilage. Won't you ask Bill to get you some of them air fresheners? They weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. Ninety five percent GPU load. So yeah, game is label on Steam Deck. Not bad at all. Cover the entrance. I got it. Almost hit the GPU bottle like there. This game was launched in a very Damn poor state. Plank fell down. At full HD resolution, medium preset. It was consuming more than 8 GB of VRAM. I still remember that. Good thing. Game has been fixed now. Definitely Here, playable on Steam Deck. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Cyberpunk 2077, no introduction required. It is one of the most visually impressive looking open world games at the moment. Just to be clear, I haven't installed version 2 update. The update is not even available yet. It will be available tomorrow. The update is going to add a lot of new features to the game. But it is also going to increase the game's system requirements. Proton D batch marked as gold. Game info section, Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0-3. Performance tab, OLA level set to 3, frame rate limit set to 30, refresh rate set to 60. And that's it. In game settings, I am using a custom preset. Most of the settings have been set to medium. I'll quickly scroll down. 
This game supports FSR 2.1. I have set it to balance. This game is nicely optimized on Steam Deck. PDM preset. This time shadow resolution set to low. Rest of the settings are set to medium. That's it. Alright, the game has started. I'm in a market and it is raining here. Oh my god, look at the graphics. Stunning visuals. We are getting 30 FPS, 90% GPU load. I'll quickly show you some combat. We'll be driving around the city. Insane graphics. Travel. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Don't you want the same? Fuck off, Kitty Claus. Making them angry. Fuck off. There you go. Blasted them. This guy is wielding a sword. 30 FPS even during combat. Illegal activity. Told you I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you. Skip that the dialogue. Safe. Got a beef with all gang. First. I Time to drive around the city. Call my vehicle. There's my bike. Let's see whether Steam Deck can sustain 30 FPS or not in driving around the city. <laughs> Crash there. Change the camera perspective. First person. Still getting a stable 30 FPS. So excellent performance in Cyberpunk. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Horizon Zero Dawn is another open world. It is notorious for its traversal stutters on Steam Deck. Whenever we enter a new area, there can be a few hiccups here and there. Game info section, Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using G-Proton version 8-14 as the compatibility layer. Performance mode, only level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 30, refresh rate set to 60. I have enabled manual GPU clock setting and I have set the GPU clock frequency to 1600 MHz. And that's it. 800p resolution, FSI enabled. Upscale quality set to ultra quality. Using favor performance preset, everything set to low except for clouds. And that's it. I'll load Kaja city area. We may hit a CPU choke in this game. I'll just set the only level to 4. There you go. I'll go through the market area. On the older ROMs, FPS always used to drop here. 23 FPS. It quickly turned back up to 30. Everyone needs a splash of color in lives. Come, let's yeah, stay around 30. Hitches have definitely I reduced have with this new OS. <laughs> Another hitch. They are still present. but not as frequent as they used to occur on the older OS. Mm, 
Hitching. Massive hitch there. Made it. F is mostly stayed around 30. Acceptable performance. I'll be trying out the next game. We'll be loading the Act 3 of Baldur's Gate 3. In case you don't already know, Act 3 is very demanding on the CPU. Even on PlayStation 5, FPS can drop down to as low as 18 in the Baldur's Gate city. Came in for section Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using Proton Hotfix as the compatibility layer. Performance tab, only level set to 4. I have set the refresh rate to 48 and frame rate limit to 24 in order to avoid frame facing issues. That's it. 800p resolution, FSR1 enable, I have set it to quality preset. Low settings, intelligence set to TA, that's it. In Act 3, single core CPU performance is the bottleneck. Frame pacing issue. <laughs> Drunk that. Explosion will occur. There you go. FPS dropped down to around 12. Magic effects looped on the game. So yeah, the performance is still poor, even with SteamOS version 3.5. Hardware is the choke. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. FSR2 still hasn't been implemented. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running Final Fantasy 13. On the oldest TMOS ROMs, performance in this game used to improve after disabling SMT via Power Tools Decky plugin. With the latest preview build of SteamOS version 3.5, Valve has implemented the SMT fix. Unfortunately, I did not observe any performance improvement in this game with the latest TMOS build. I still have to rely on Power Tools Decky plugin in order to improve the performance. SMT stands for Simultaneous Multithreading. It allows a CPU code to process two threads simultaneously. Proton DB batch marked as gold came in for section. Steam Deck compatibility marked as playable using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0-3. Game launcher, resolution set to HD and resolution set to 2x. Start the game. Performance tab, whole LL set to 4, frame rate limit set to 60. Power Tools Techie Plugin SMT is enabled. This setting is enabled by default. Alright, the game has tried, guys, and you can see we are getting 30 FPS, not hitting CPU or GPU bottleneck. Let me just disable SMT now. Power Tools Techie Plugin SMT disabled. Observe the FPS counter. We have 4 CPU cores. 60 FPS so I'm not sure why SMT fix isn't working a few hiccups FPS mostly says around 60 back to the game 
this game used to stutter a lot on the previous demo as from special attack broke down the game so a few hitches are still present but game is playable this tin can is not going down This special attack is demanding 54 to 60 FPS Now I'll be running Elden Ring This game runs very nicely on Steam Deck for the most part But when we are fighting against dragons FPS can drop down to as low as 25 Especially when the dragon breathes fire I'll straight away jump into this fight. But don't be best marked as gold game info section Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using G Proton version 8 as shorten as the compatibility layer. I'll be using Steam OS FSR performance tab OLED level set to 4, frame rate limit set to 30, refresh rate set to 60, FSR enable level set to 2. My gamepad's battery level is shown here. Dual sense. FSR is enabled. Show you the in game settings. Native resolution set to 960 by 600 pixels, upscale to 720p via FSR using the low preset. On Steam Deck, you can run this game using medium preset. FPS will mostly stay around 30 even in the open areas. It's just a few demanding areas where FPS can drop down to around 25 during combat especially when you are fighting against giant bosses ok let me look for this dragon there it is I haven't did I beg your pardon I haven't played this game in a long time I may not be able to beat this dragon There goes my horse. Let's breathing fire. FPS still stayed around 30. Camera control is the real boss here. Where's the dragon? Oh my god. fire again FPS stayed around 30 It keeps flying away. I can't land a blow. Oh my god. So we're stable 30 FPS. Great and we fell. 
and you're trying out the next game Resident Evil 4 Remake again in this game FPS mostly stays above 30 for the most part except for one level it is based on the island when Leon uses his scope deck hits the GPU borderline Proton D batch marked as gold came in for session stream deck compatibility marked as 45 using Proton compatibility level version 8.0 dash 3 only level set to 4 frame rate limit set to 30 refresh rate set to 60 graphics setting 800p resolution FSR 2 set to performance, just scroll down. Texture quality set to high, 0.25 GB VRAM. Texture filtering set to high, and so X2. Most of the settings are set to low. Shadow cache enabled. Effects have been disabled. Procession corpse is set to few. Motion blur enabled. That's it. You can actually run this game using balance preset on Steam Deck. FPS will mostly stay around 30 on it, except for this level. Yeah, there's Leon. Equip my rifle. I'll use the scope now. Observe the FPS counter. Still getting around 30 FPS. Almost hit the GPU bottleneck. Okay, I'll alert everyone. Engage in combat. Here goes the alarm. What the hell is this thing? Need to kill it. It's building a machine gun. German couple X. If the game can sustain 30 FPS here, you won't be observing any performance issues in other areas. Features have pros. Getting a stable 50 FPS. So many of these features. Still not down, oh my god. There you go, it's dead. I'll use my rifle. Not this thing. There you go. FPS mostly stayed around 30 even when I use scope. I'll be trying out the next game. Gotham Knights FPS in this game mostly stays around 30 but when we are traversing the city using bad pot FPS can drop down to as low as 25. Frame passing issue can occur. Proton D batch marked as gold game info section Steam Deck compatibility marked as playable using G Proton version. 8-14 as the compatibility layer. Performance tab OLA level set to 4. Frame rate limit set to 30. Refresh rate set to 60. That's it. This game supports FSR 2. I'll be using it.
graphic setting 800p resolution fsr to set to performance all effects have been disabled using the low settings and that's it all right the game has started show you some combat playing as sniping here we are getting around 30 fps these guys have weapons i need to be careful to escape good to see fps mostly stayed around 30 there's the bad cycle i'll be riding around the city this area is demanding expect the fps to drop down when pressing issue 25 to 30 fps This issue is still present and I will be trying out the next game. Hogwarts Legacy, this game is also very demanding on the CPU. Ron DB batch marked as gold. Game Info Section Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0 TAS 3. Performance tab overlay level set to 4. Frame rate limit set to 30. That's it. These are the settings using the low preset. 800 P resolution. Intel inset to TSA. Using FSR2. Preset set to balance. And these effects have been enabled. Motion blur type to field chromatic aberration and film game. I'm at the Hogwarts castle. Here GP load is around 90%. This area is very demanding on the CPU as well. In this staircase area is very demanding. Good to see we are still getting 30 FPS. Not bad at all. Now I'll be loading the hog meats area. Trying to open the door. This is hog meat. Hard to know where to start. The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get yeah, a lot of non playable characters here. At Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I'll travel around the place, check out the performance. <laughs> Look at this animal. Pet the cat. Very important. Hi. 
नाइन्टी परसेंट जी पी लोड दें Yeah, so FPS mostly stayed around 30. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Last but not least, Spider-Man Remastered. This game runs very nicely on Steam Deck. Even using the medium preset, FPS mostly stays around 30. Proton D batch marked as gold. Game info section Steam Deck compatibility marked as verified using G Proton version 8-14 as the compatibility layer. Open world game. Performance tab all level set to 4. Frame rate limit set to 30, refresh rate set to 60, that's it. 800p resolution, FSR 2.1 upscaler enabled, dynamic resolution scaling set to 30. Medium settings, start the game, these effects have been enabled. Alright, the game has tried guys, there's Spider-Man. I'm just standing on the road. So many vehicles around me and non-playable characters. We are still getting a stable 30 FPS. This game is nicely optimized. It's amazing how well it runs on Steam Deck. Not even using the low preset. Swinging around the city. Uh, hello, Parker. Where are you? We must run through the demonstration at least once before the grant committee arrives. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Dealing with a personal issue. I'll be in soon. Promise. Uh, better wrap this up quick than get to my real job. Like you recalled in the cavalry. Following the cops. Show you some combat. Almost hitting the GPU waterline. I just noticed that the adaptive triggers feature of DualSense controller is now working on Steam Deck. Even when the gamepad is connected via Bluetooth mode to it. Quickly clear the area. Dodge the attacks. Just press the B key when Spider-Man's head flashes. What are these thugs? Web of the enemies. Has a lot of guys in this payroll. Mm. Spider-Man, what's your status? Sexy performance in this game. We're about to go in. Be there soon. Looks like that's amazing on Steam Deck. I'll end the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.